Hey Hoopheads, Brad here with another breakdown and today I want to talk about the Raptors 101-92 win over the Jazz. In this game, the Raptors were led by Siakam's 27 points, 11 boards, 8 assists, Serge had 27 points and 13 rebounds as well, and they held Gobert to just 6 points and 4 boards. I'm going to talk about how they did that. Donovan Mitchell had 11 points on 4 of 16 shooting. He was a minus 30. Conley had 13 points on 4 of 12. Let's get into it. On this play, the Jazz are going to swing it to Bogdanovich in the corner, and he's going to come off the Donovan Mitchell screen, and as he does, you can see how the Raptors have the lane completely walled off. Plus, you know he's not passing it to Gobert here. He's not passing it to O'Neal or Conley. That means he's either going to pull it out or pass it to Mitchell in the corner. Lowry reads it perfectly, able to get a fingertip on it. OG, good hustle to save it inbounds. That's going to be a turnover. And I mentioned that Gobert struggled this game, and one of the main reasons is that when the Jazz guards drove, Serge Ibaka would stay glued to Rudy Gobert. Mike Conley is only shooting 34% when in the paint, but not in the restricted area, so he misses a lot of floaters. Donovan Mitchell's only at 43%, and by staying glued to Gobert, you prevent that pass over the top for the alley-oop, you prevent a lot of offensive rebounds off the missed floaters, and of course that means you're going to give up some buckets on the inside, but the Raptors decided it was better to take Gobert completely out of it, and they were successful with that. Here as Bogdanovich comes off the Gobert screen, Gobert's going to dive to the basket, but look how far Siakam is cheating off of Royce O'Neal. The Raptors are trying to keep that ball out of the paint. They entice the pass to Royce O'Neal, Siakam with a good effort on the closeout, and the Raptors trust themselves to get out and challenge those shots, even if they're sunk all the way into the paint. Here Gobert sets the screen for Bogdanovich again, Serge is going to step up to help out, and that opens up the lane for Gobert to dive to the basket, but Lowry does a nice job of moving down to help out there. That leaves his man open, and again the Raptors trusting their ability to get out and contest these threes, not minding too much to give them up, as long as it means they're taking away easy baskets at the rim. And here the first Gobert screen is set pretty high up so McCaw can afford to go under it. The second one is closer to the three-point line so McCaw goes over it to chase Donovan Mitchell off the three-point line. As he gets into the lane, Lowry is going to leave Royce O'Neal entirely and switch on to him. Mitchell attacks the basket and puts up the shot with the right hand instead of the left and Lowry's able to bother it. Rudy Gobert is able to get his hands on the offensive board but Serge does a nice job of protecting the rim and preventing the putback. And now as Clarkson pushes it in transition, Terrence Davis able to cut him off and as he tries to pass it out, Rondé with the active hands able to get into the passing lane and get the steal. And now off the turnover, check out Chris Boucher with the tremendous transition play. As Niang hits half court, Boucher is several steps behind, but Lowry does a good job of slowing Yang down and that allows Boucher to make up that ground and hit him with the block Quebecois from behind. Great hustle on that one. He didn't get a ton of minutes in this game. Hasn't been playing the best lately, but that was a really nice play. And now I just want to take 20 seconds to mention that on March 20th, I'm going to be launching a Patreon where you can get access to exclusive content vote for which games I cover, and show your appreciation. I don't get any money from these videos because I'm not able to monetize them because of copyright issues, so the Patreon is a way for you to contribute directly to me in exchange for some exclusive content that isn't copyrighted. And here the Jazz set a screen to get Boucher switched on to Ingles. Boucher gets low in his defensive stance and does a great job of moving his feet. As he drives into the lane, you can see Rondé helping way off Niang in the corner. The pass goes out to him, but Rondé closes that gap really quickly makes it a tough shot, but as it's in the air, check out how Tony Bradley just moves Chris Boucher out of the way. That's part of the problem with Boucher, a little undersized despite his length. The Jazz track down the offensive board and do another screen to get Boucher switched on to Ingles, but as Ingles starts to go to work on the right elbow, check out Rondé Hollis Jefferson. OG is getting into position to help on Joe Ingles, which means Rondé has to help out on Tony Bradley. And Rondé just gets caught ball watching for a half second too long as Niang cuts up to the elbow. He's able to drain that three, a pretty decent shot contest still, but you can see how just falling asleep for a half second on defense can lead to a basket. Similar story here as Gobert sets the screen for Donovan Mitchell, you see Serge in the middle of the floor in help position, and Bogdanovich is going to set an off-ball screen on him as Gobert dives to the rim, and Serge gets caught up on fighting through that screen and doesn't see that on the far side, Royce O'Neal has gotten past Pascal Siakam and there's no help at the rim. 
And now as Royce O'Neal gets the ball coming off the Gobert screen, you can see Serge drops nice and low again. And even as Royce O'Neal drives, you see Serge backing off him. He's daring him to take that floater because he wants to stay attached to Gobert. The pass goes to the far corner and Bogdanovich with the drive and dish to Gobert in the paint. And right here, you can see Serge is in prime position to step up and challenge Gobert. But Matt Thomas gets a hand in there and fouls him. Not the end of the world, but definitely a few mistakes this game from the Raptors on D. And on this one, as Conley comes off the Gobert screen, check out how Serge stays completely attached to Gobert. And meanwhile, OG slides in from the elbow to poke at the ball, and Pascal Siakam stunts toward the lane and then back out to his man, and that throws Conley off. He wasn't planning on shooting this, he wanted to dish it, but good work by the Raptors to disrupt him. And now off the turnover, Donovan Mitchell pushing the tempo. You see Siakam with him, and Siakam backs off from the contact because he has Serge there as a secondary defender to challenge the shot. And at the same time, Lowry goes to Gobert to box him out and prevent the offensive rebound. Gobert ends up getting called for the loose ball foul, and that's great hustle by all three Raptors to get back there. And now the Jazz will work it to Donovan Mitchell with McCaw on him. McCaw pressuring. The Raptors use McCaw, Rondé, and OG to pressure up on guys and make them play a little faster than they would like to. And as Mitchell gets a step on McCaw, check out the way Serge rotates over to help at the rim while OG puts a body on Rudy Gobert. And then as the pass goes to the corner, OG, great job getting out. Shot clock running out now and the Jazz have to settle for the deep Royce O'Neal three with Pascal running at him. Nice help in rotations there. And now after OG turns it over, you see him hustle back on defense, does a great job not going for Bogdanovich's pump fake and gets up to challenge this shot, making it difficult. Surge is there to pull down the board. Great hustle to get back on D and make up for that turnover. And now Royce O'Neal wants to take Lowry into the post. Lowry being a professional pest, as always, able to get up into O'Neal and force the frustration foul as he hits him with the shoulder a little. And now as Ingles comes off the Gobert screen, Gobert's gonna dive to the basket, but Lowry doesn't overreact. He stays out on Bogdanovich while Serge cuts off the pass to Gobert. And now Mitchell is gonna take it at Ananobi. And as he does, Serge rotates over from the weak side. That opens up Gobert for the potential offensive board, but OG does a nice job to get up and tap it away from him. Now watch this three on two fast break. As the ball gets to the three point line, Lowry has to worry about the ball. That means OG has to worry about Royce O'Neal and Donovan Mitchell. O'Neal going right to the rim is obviously the primary threat. So OG shades over towards him. And as Ingles picks up his dribble, check out how OG is squatted down. That helps him explode into the passing lane and break up the fast break. Excellent defense. OG continuing to make his case for the all defensive team. And now another great play in transition, this time by Siakam as Clarkson attacks. Siakam loads up like he's going to go up for the block and then backs off from the contact, just enough to throw Clarkson off. A really smart move from Siakam, especially given that he was in foul trouble at this point. And here as McCaw gets switched onto Clarkson, just some great on-ball defense to contain him. McCaw had one of his best games defensively in this one. And then as Ingles gets the ball and attacks, you can see Rondé is in help position and he's going to stunt towards Ingles. Ingles gets caught in the air a little indecisive and throws it to no one. That's going to be a turnover. And now Conley is going to come off the double screen. And as he attacks the paint, Tony Bradley is also diving towards the rim. Check out how Serge shades over towards Bradley. Doesn't worry so much about Conley while McCaw is able to get around to the opposite side. Just putting a little bit of pressure onto that floater by Conley who misses. And Joe Ingles got hot in the fourth quarter. So this time as he comes off the screen, you see Serge come out aggressively to try and trap him. That means Siakam has to help off of Royce O'Neal onto Rudy Gobert. Ingles does well to find the open O'Neal who bricks the shot. The Raptors pretty fortunate, but that's an example of choosing your priorities. Here again as Ingles comes off the screen, check out Serge stepping out to him. And then as Mitchell comes back up to the top, you see Serge and Siakam switch off ball. That allows Serge to play closer to the basket where he's more effective and Siakam to guard the perimeter. That comes in handy when the pass goes to Ingles and Siakam is able to run him off the three-point line and then Serge is waiting at the rim. And as Ingles picks up his dribble, he's looking to pass. You see Serge cut off the pass to Gobert and it looks like Bogdanovich is open, but look who's waiting in the passing lane. Joe Ingles probably wishing he'd just gone up with that layup, but the Raptors make those things so hard to judge in real time. And then as the Raptors get out in transition, it's a two on two with Siakam trailing, no rim protectors back on defense and Siakam's just able to put it up over the top. And now Gobert trying to attack Serge off the dribble, one of his only four shot attempts. The Raptors did an incredible job neutralizing him and then down at the other end, 
Lowry hits the monster three at the end of the shot clock to put the Raptors up five with just about two minutes left. And then on the other end, the Jazz go to Rudy Gobert screening again. You can see Serge in drop coverage. And as Mitchell advances, Serge just lets him have that floater. Make sure the lob to Gobert isn't there. Make sure he boxes him out on the glass. And then a three-point game with a minute left. And the Jazz do something smart. They have Gobert sprint from the low block up to set the screen for Joe Ingles who's been shooting hot. So you know Serge is going to come out hard. That gets his momentum off a little bit so he can't contain Gobert on the dive. But OG rotating over from the weak side for the monster block. OG obviously getting in Gobert's head as Gobert tried to fight him later. And now a different tactic from the Jazz. They have two guys come up. Mitchell attacks quickly, forcing Serge to commit. That means Gobert is there to potentially get the offensive board. Lowry does a pretty nice job of boxing out, but Gobert is able to tip it. It goes to the Jazz, but as they try to save the ball, McCaw is there to intercept it, and that's going to be the ball game. The Raptors go on to win this one and go to 46 and 18 on the season, closing out the five-game road trip four and one. Hopefully Norm doesn't miss too much time and Fred is back soon. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought of the Raptors defense in the comments.